What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. I know some of you watching this video and you're way Chris sticking out the vexation here, boy. No! Nobody angry, nobody ain't trying to de-stress or anything like that. What we are making here today is smashed cucumber chow. And if you're new to Caribbean cuisine, a chow is basically a sort of a spicy pickle. We typically make with mangoes, when man green mangoes. When mangoes are not in season, we use cucumber, we use pomsi tea, we use any sort of fruit or as a matter of fact, well I've never seen vegetables done chow before, but anything with a little bit of body and texture and tartness and stuff like that. Now the steps, what we did, we smashed the cucumber. You can chop it up, the typical ways to chop it up, but what I did was I smashed it and it's a chow I like doing Yo, and, and, and you'll understand why once you've made it. What you do is you smash the cucumbers, then you put on the salt on there, full of stuff and ingredients listed down below. You would go in with that sea salt. Let it sit for about 20, 25 minutes or so. And what that sea salt will do, it will pull out a lot of moisture from the cucumber, as you would have seen me drain the cucumber there, allowing for more flavors to go in. It will also take out the bitterness or tartness out of the cucumber. This is an English cucumber seedless and it's been washed before I smashed it but there's two cucumbers in here and um, what we did in over here this is the spicy side of the chow. I had three weary weary peppers. You can use scotch bonnet, you can use um, jalapeno, you can use habanero, whatever you like or whatever you have available along with garlic and salt. The salt in here is what's going to act as an abrasive sort of action and what we got is that niceness there that's going to go into there and we're not done with this yet what we're going to do here in one second we're going to squeeze the juice of a lemon in there like so just because I want to pick up more of that that peppery garlic business we have going on there I you know even though I try to avoid the seeds going in this little mako still made its way in there why these things like that? Boy. So I'm just going to swish that around in there and pour it into there. And we're going to continue building this cucumber, smash cucumber chow. Yeah, you're wondering, well, what do we do with this chow, Chris? Chow is basically a sort of a snack you have with or without adult beverages. Treat it as a salad if you want. Totally up to you. Be creative. Add whatever you want. You want some grapes in there. You want to you know, do your thing. Now along with the garlic, the salt, the pepper, the cucumber, we also need some fresh ground black pepper. If you don't have fresh ground, use what you have in the cupboard there. And another key ingredient in that is what we call bandania or um, shadow benny. In some places they call it culantro. If you cannot source this, you can use cilantro. But for now we can source it. I'm unlucky here in Canada. I can find it in the grocery stores. So I'm just giving that a rough chop and it will have the same sort of flavor profile. I find it to be a little bit more pungent than cilantro or coriander. Now remember I said if you can't source it, go the root of that uh, cilantro. I've got one more ingredient in there, I want, or a couple more ingredients I want to put in there just for additional flavor and one of them being some some shallots, some thinly sliced shallots. Just gonna peel these back. I'll show you. I like to slice them lengthwise, but really thin. And it's all about texture and body and stuff like that in my recipes. Just gonna let it rain in there like so. And if you don't have shallots and you have red onion, you can rock the red onion. Uncle Chris ain't hating. I appreciate you using what you have available. And the sort of non-traditional Caribbean ingredient I like adding to this and I became a huge fan of the Korean pepper paste, gochujang I think it's called. I may be pronouncing it uh, incorrectly but on my flight over to Seoul, South Korea a few years ago I fell in love with that pepper paste and that has a sort of fermented sort of flavor along with a balanced heat. Now remember that pepper we add in there will be spicy and the thing about chow, whether it's smashed cucumber or sliced cucumber or mango or, or palm tea or orange or pineapple, it, it's got to be spicy. 
So we're just going to give that a toss now. Let it sit for about five minutes. And here, man, one of the best little snacks you'll ever have. And all you would do is, first of all, use a bigger bowl. But you want to give this a good toss. Make sure all those flavors combine. It kisses every piece of that cucumber. And I'm telling you, man, this thing here is wicked. You know, cucumber chow on its own is awesome as it is. But when you use that Korean pepper paste, and you can get it at any of those Asian supermarkets. I think many of the mainstream supermarkets have it now. Now, because of all the heat in here, if you wanted to balance things off with a little bit of granulated sugar, you can do that. Or a little bit of honey, just to balance off those flavors. After all, we speak quite a bit on this channel about balance and flavors and everything else. But there we go, friends. I'm telling you, awesome little snack to have between meals. I'm gonna say, as I said, it can work as a salad. If you want to call it a salad, by all means, if, if, if it makes sense for you calling it a salad, you know, you call it a salad, but with those adult beverages, summertime, in the backyard, you're doing your thing and you have one of this, you let it sit, like I said, let it sit for a few minutes in the fridge and yo, enjoy, all right? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. What did?